Jeez. French Mexico is fucking falling apart. Ah, oh, they took Thunder Bay. We gotta cut them off here. Well, we might as well just run a deficit economy, right? Yeah, as soon as this colonist shows up, we're probably going to go into the red, but... Okay, barely above. Barely, barely above the line. Should take economic ideas next. That's, that's how we can help get out of this. Objectives-wise... Yeah, none of that's going to happen anytime soon. Man, Newfoundland's getting big. Would they accept support independence? Let's see. Nope. They hate us, and they're loyal to Great Britain. Just like Canadians, to be loyal to the king. Okay. Tech, tech, tech. Fantastic. We can create more states now. Minnesota. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we might as well make the High Plains a state. So what are we looking at now in terms of... I always forget, why is it in geographical? Okay, Central Plains, we're going to want that to be a state eventually. Dakota... How many states do we have left? 20 states and we can make two more. So yeah, let's make Dakota a state. And then we'll save another one to make uh, Red River of the North into a state. Because we definitely want to lock that down. So this might be our border here. Does that, that includes the trade? Yeah, center of trade, okay, cool. So yeah, if we can lock this off, I would say our border might end up being Red River of the North, the Badlands. Maybe there's still time to get Upper Missouri, and then we'll grab as much of this as we can. It looks like they're already moving in on the uh, Hudson Bay. I don't think we can make it to Muskegon before they do. But we'll, we'll at least get Winnipeg. Oh yes, oh yes we will. Yeah, don't want to go any higher than that until our Diplo recovers. Matter of fact, let's let's put on a Diplo focus for a little while because we're we're behind most in Diplo. For some reason Diplo focus makes me think of Diplodocus, like the dinosaur. You guys feel me? You can tell I've been reviewing Ark for a major video game outlet. Man, look at this border gore here. We gotta lock down. We gotta lock down our edges before we can fill in our interior. That's how colonization works in EU4. Importing iron. Um, no, we'll rely on our own resources. Thank you very much. Cherokee. So they should be annexed by 1736. Colony in Sisseton. Okay, awesome. So we're going to grab Wapus. And we can't get Winnipeg yet, but we can get one, uh, one more step closer to Winnipeg. Extra tax. Potawatomi gains 15 liberty desire. 
Yeah, let's tax the shit out of the Potawatomi. I don't care if they go independent at this point. Um, our loans, we have 10 loans and our smallest one is over 300, so it's going to be a while. Our tech costs basically nothing at this point. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, we do have a new king. 545! Five, Holy awesome. I, he's so awesome, I'm going to actually attempt to pronounce his name. King Okela Shah Shakube the first. Hasta Yuntwa. Yes. He will lead us to greatness. Oh man, that is that is so awesome that we got like a great ass king right when we needed one. I think it's a new dynasty, isn't it? I'd have to go back and check. I could be totally wrong. We got claims on our rivals. Do we even have enough rivals at this point? Foundland, English West Indies, and Florida. Okay. Oh, yeah, our legitimacy dropped super low, though. Hopefully that didn't cap our... Yeah, it didn't cap out our absolutism, so we, we aren't... Because if it had already been at 85, it would have dropped down to 69, and that's a pain in the ass, so... So, yeah, we definitely want to... Maybe maybe we'll try to lock down Saskatchewan, too. We'll, we'll take as many states as we can, basically. It's just a race now to claim land. How much will stay with the free natives and how much will... Uh... Let's see, we have Cherokee Pretender Rebels have risen up. I think the Cherokee can handle them. Looks like... Uh... Looks like they're doing all right. You can come in. Oh, one sec. Forgot I locked that. Recording E4 for the day. Hello, you people. All right. Yeah, as suspected, the Cherokee are able to handle their own shit, which is part of why we want them to be part of our country. And yeah. Looking pretty good here. I do wish we could have gotten to Hudson Bay before the English did, but uh, looks like that may not happen. Also getting some lag here. I'm not sure why. That doesn't doesn't usually happen with the U4. New loan. Is it worth reducing? No, we're actually, we're doing fine on inflation. We are now losing money, however, so. We need to do something about that. Um, and set army maintenance to minimum, but. Uh, Want to make sure we can at least still <laughs> deal with any natives who attack us. Okay, we can. There we go. That was the game telling me that, yes, you can still deal with natives who attack you. Yes, we won't bother with this because they're already they're already colonizing the Hudson Bay like crazy. We want to cut them off here, here, and if possible here. I also have to keep an eye on Portuguese California because I don't know if they're planning on moving into this area or not. So far, it doesn't look like they're really colonizing. Successful company. That's exactly what we need. That and some. Uh, oh. Renew to loan, renew to loan, renew to loan. Okay, so we've got... You can get the next level of Diplotech, which allows us to get the next level of Admin. In just a moment, it will let us get the next level of Military. So we now can get the Leather Cannon, and we are definitely going to pick up Economic Ideas. We need them bad. And because of that... 
I might switch our focus back to admin in, in a little bit. Yeah, that that'll that's what'll help us get out of debt and manage our um, what's it called? Economic economic economy inflation is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Establish cantonments. Uh, let's just draft the citizens. Let's not give any... We, we can't really afford to give financial incentives right now. Join the army if you feel like it, or don't. We don't care. Okay, so since the Rocky Mountains are here, we actually only need to grab one province to cut them off from the upper Missouri, so we might as well. This is going to finish very soon. Oh yeah, they're the Canadians are eating the Hudson Bay like it's like it's a uh, an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> so basically, these are just areas that we like de facto control because they're completely surrounded by our borders, but we haven't bothered to uh, like set up any administration or anything there. So these like. Uh, Let's see. Let's take a look at our culture map modes. We've got some Pawnees, um, some Chuere Sioux, we've got some Osage. Yeah, they're just kind of like, they live in lands that we control, but we're not making any effort to administer them. Oh man, they now control enough to have a bigger name than us. We can't have that. Map names are, of course, of the utmost importance in E4. People have gone to war over less. Are we making any progress on this annexation right now? Why is our Diplo rep so low? Did we do something that... Uh, something else that lowered our diplo rep? Uh, oh, legitimacy. We've got to get our legitimacy up. All right. Um, do we have a royal marriage with the uh, Cherokee? We don't. A royal marriage with the Iroquois. We do have a royal marriage with the Iroquois. Let's get a royal marriage with lots of different people. Pueblo. Cool. Maybe the Pima. If that doesn't put us over our slots. That would put us over our slots. Uh, French Mexico won't get a royal marriage with us because we're not Christian, I don't think. Yep. And we have a leader who's not terrible but also isn't good. So hopefully our current leader survives a long time. It's only 23. We will not send him into battle ever. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to make any progress on annexing the Cherokee until we can prove our legitimacy here. But we just got 10% plus 10 national tax modifiers, so we can start making a dent in these loans. We have joined... Klopanek in their Righteous War of Independence against France? I think it means we joined French Mexico. Okay, so we are now... We're at war with... We're at war with French Mexico... We're, we're allied to French Mexico. Spain it does not look like... Looks like they did not join. Um, we're going to go into ridiculous debt. Um, yeah, so we need to rethink our, our organization of our armies here. Um, so French Mexico it has declared the, it's the fifth Tlapanec, Tlapanecan War for Independence. 
I don't even, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe Tlopanek was a vassal of France and they rebelled and French Mexico supported their independence or something. That must be what happened. So Tlopanek was also a subject of France and French Mexico as another disloyal subject joined them. Who is on our side? Oh shit. Okay, so Spain did join. So it's Spain, the Potawatomi, all of Spain's colonies, French Mexico, Florida's on our side, our, our former bitter enemies. It's us, it's the Cherokee and the Tlopanek against France, the Aztec, and France's allies. I can't see how big France is, um, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is going to be skewed toward our side. I think this is going to be a good thing for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the traditional token force of... Oh, we have a mercenary cannon somehow. Why does this always happen to me? Why can I never... Why can I never... Uh, pay attention to whether I'm hiring mercenaries or regulars? Okay, so... This is going to be a colonial force. We're not at war with Portugal, right? They're not going to... Get in on this shit? Okay. So, this is going to be... An army we're gonna send to the front. One, two, three, four, four, three, and one cannon. This is gonna be an army we're gonna send to the front. One, two, three, and one. This is gonna be an army we're gonna send to the front. We'll send this entire army to the front. Um, we'll bring these guys along as reserves, reservists. We're gonna go down to speed three, and we're just gonna figure out, we're gonna, we're gonna create a new organization scheme for our armies here. Whoa, 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 wrong ones, wrong ones. Nope, nope, the colonial garrisons. Okay, there we go. They were they were sending the colonial garrisons to the front instead of the people I wanted. Um, shut off this fort. Aren't gonna need it. So let's see. Let's see where we're at economically. I know we're gonna be screwed. I just want to know how comprehensively. So. We're at war with all of these idiots. Um, promising trader sounds good. We're not going to be able to hire any ministers for a while, but thank you. We'll turn friendlies can attach onto all of our armies that are at the front. We do not want friendlies attached to any of our colonial garrisons because their job is to just keep doing their thing. So, so far we're winning, which is good. We just want to get our war participation up so that we can uh, get some money at the end of this. Who are the Pueblo... Oh, well, they're, they're at war with Portugal or some shit, so we're not really concerned. We married into their family, but uh, I don't foresee that coming up. Um, so we can't, literally can't get to any of the provinces that matter for some reason. Well, it's probably because we don't have military access. No, we have military access, so I don't know why we can't go into our own allies' undiscovered provinces. That seems a little weird. So, um... Family ties, sure, sounds great. 
Getting ready to wrap up here. Oh, and of course, French Mexican peasants have shown up to make our day more difficult. So we will help deal with them. Oh, and here comes some Aztecs. So we might have, like, one real battle at least. This entire war. We're going to transfer occupation here if we can. Can you not transfer occupation of a colony? I guess not. That is actually a fairly scary Aztec general. By the way, I love the modern era Aztec unit models. Paradox did a great job with some of these alt history models that they did for the, uh, I believe it was the El Dorado content pack. Now they're gonna fight bravely, but we have the numbers and now they're out of infantry and they just have horses and I think we just stack wiped them. So that'll definitely help for our war participation. <laughs> So I wonder if French Mexico becomes independent from this war. The Floridians, they probably hate they're having to fight with us. After the horrors we visited upon them. Alright, so... I don't see us being able to participate much more than that, actually. So we're just going to go home and we're just going to lower our army maintenance and we're just going to not worry about it. French Mexico... We can't fight Portugal right now, guys. Well, we're about out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and cop out and save the game. Uh, vote on your phones if you... <laughs> Want to uh, see us go into financial ruin trying to win a war against Portugal, Portuguese, Brazil, uh, Spain, who we're already allied to in another war, so I don't know how that would work necessarily. And yeah, check out loresworn.com. That's our website. We are at Lorsworn Order on Twitter. I am at AsaTJ. That is A S A T J. Subscribe to see more. We're getting uh, close to that 5k subscriber mark and we have some very cool stuff planned for when we hit that. So tell your friends and we will see you next time.